Screen fights are all the same and not difficult to outguess. Now, let's see. A couple of haymakers followed up by a flying hip throw. Now, a karate chop to the neck, to the midriff, another to the neck, and into the bath. Turn on the shower. Back into the bath. The mechanical horse. <laughs> that must be there for some reason. Which leaves us with the mirror. Plus the groping hand bit. Dialogue. Well, hello, Dolly. Hello, Dolly. Hello, Charles. Aren't I divine? You stole the scene, darling. You must admit, it does move. Oh, it moves all right. Predictably, but it moves. Predictably to you. But then you're an expert. The famous Simon Templar. Savage, what do you like best about playing Charles Lake? The money. Excuse me, Richard. Carol, do you think you're being stereotyped in the Lake pictures? Thank you very much. Miss Henry, may I have your autograph, please? Uh, excuse me. Thank you very much. Miss Henry, can we have a shot of you, Mr. Savage, please? Sorry, Simon. You're public. Enjoy, Simon. <laughs> Divine. <laughs> Shall we avoid the party? Like the play. Oh, Mr. Hugerson. How many Amos Klein books have you published? Uh, four. Will they all be made into films? I fervently hope so. Oh. Sorry. Uh, how is it Amos Klein never attends his premieres? Uh, no copy. But he does live in England. No copy. Uh, no autograph. Mr. Hugerson, you're his uh, publisher. Simon. What's Amos Klein price? Is he married? I'm sorry, gentlemen. No comment. How old is Amos Klein? So <laughs> there's no comment. I'm merely being evasive. Why? Amos Klein is making me rich. And? I want to protect my investment. That's difficult. Yes, it looks as though it's going to be. But my flat's just round the next corner. Finley, 
You still haven't said why you're being evasive. My dear boy, do you know how much I made from publishing the history of the 38th Regiment Hertfordshire Veteran Volunteer Infantry, Morocco bound, with 60 glorious plates in colour? I haven't the faintest idea. A net loss of 2,000. Surprised. Uninvited. Fight sounds so predictable. I knew it. That's what they were after. What? Amos Klein's address. Well, there must be easier ways of getting it, surely. There aren't. It's a deep, dark secret. Well, I'm a sake, why? Because I'm a capitalist. Because I'm through with publishing so-called important books. I don't want to educate people. I just want to be a millionaire. So. Very laudable ambition. Yes, not in this country. Well, you seem to be doing all right without my help. Yes, but you would help me, wouldn't you, Simon? If only for the sheer delight of keeping me in brandy. Now, you saw Klein's film tonight. Have you read the books? Well, Skip through them. Ever seen Amos Klein? No. Or even a photograph? Come to mention it, I haven't. To our mutual aid. Meaning what? You like adventure, don't you? Who doesn't? Doesn't it strike you as odd that a world-famous author, creator of Charles Lake, the greatest hero of modern times, is unknown, faceless? I've got it. Amos Klein is a pen name for the Prime Minister. Worse. Simon, you've got to help me. I'm getting too old for this sort of suffering. Amos Klein's real identity must be protected. From what? The press. The fifth book is due out in two weeks' time. I promise you, it's desperately urgent. Now, you'll understand it when you get down there. Now, Simon, if you've got a drop of red blood left in your veins, you'll drive down to Amos Klein's cottage tonight. Uh, risk of being impertinent, would you mind telling me what you're doing? Well, you see, they're keeping me prisoner in this cellar, 
And done that Brody. He's the nice boy whose mother was killed by the Mafia. He slipped me this gun and I'm going to kill Warlock with it when he comes to torture me. But my wrists are tied, you see? You thought I was Warlock? Oh, no, 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 no. This is Warlock. Help me with him, will you? Oh. He gets better. Leaves a charmed life, that one. The swine. As for Warlock's a character out of Amos Klein books. That's right. And you were Amos Klein? That's right. Well, why didn't you die of shock? <laughs> Just did. So what's holding you up? Rigor mortis. Try bending. Mm -hmm. Come on. How do you uh, write these tough books? Oh, something went wrong in the people factory. They ran out of girly ribbons. Not from where I'm bending. Oh, that's sweet. I could learn to love you. Most people do. Top. Yeah. Oh, just pick those up for me, would you? Why are you uh, supposed to be a man? Well, it was my publisher's idea, you know, to sell the books. Actually, hey, it's paid off rather well. It plays havoc with my private life. I can imagine the complications. Um, how do you happen to be here? Are you a neighbor or something? <laughs> well, my name is Simon Templer. The Simon Templer? <laughs> well, if there's more than one of us, I am here. No, Finley Hugerson asked me to come down. He thinks you may be having gate crashes. Liar. Hope they're in page order. Back against the wall, Buster. Why, you're not going to shoot me? I'll give you three seconds. One, two... You can count until the cars come home, but you won't shoot me. Why not? That happens to be a Hungarian for Maru. They only pack six shots, and you've shot them all off. Yes, you're right. Pass, friend. You really are the saint. Whiskey? Thanks, but uh, that is gin. Oh, dear. So it is. Tom. So Finley sent you down, did he? Yes, his uh, flat was broken into tonight. Someone got into your confidential file and took your address. We interrupted them. Oh, was it a good fight? No. No, they were more interested in getting away. How did they? Well, they beat me to the elevator. Oh, you could have stopped them. You could have fused the elevator power circuit. From above the car? Mm, you just put a coin in behind the call button. I never carry small change. Here's to friendship. To friendship. Tell me, what am I uh, going to call you? Amos seems to be a little out of place. Um, call me darling. Did you happen to recognize the characters you saw tonight? No. Darling. Couldn't be reporters, could they? I mean, um, after tonight's premiere. <laughs> a bit violent for Fleet Street, hmm? Yes, I suppose so. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is there Is there you uh, buried a bone? No, no, it's a letter. Oh, I say, look. <laughs> There's a tiny microphone in there. It was a present from the Turkish police. Sweet. Here we are. It came to me through Finley's office. Read it. Dear Mr. Klein, encloses a cheque for 50... 50,000 pounds. Being half payment for your writing services, which we are most anxious to acquire. Period of employment, two months. Balance on completion. The work is secret, challenging, and to your taste. Your cashing this cheque will be regarded as full acceptance of the contract, whereupon you will be contacted and given further instructions. Sign Warlock. My fictional villain. Kooky, isn't it? And look at the letter heading. Sword. Secret World Organization for Retribution and Destruction. Warlock's dastardly organization. That's right. Sir, so, dated a month ago. Yes. Yes, yeah, so it is. What have you done about it? Nothing. Well, haven't you even called the bank? Why? Well, to find out if there is a man called Warlock and if he has a bank account. Oh, I couldn't be bothered. I mean, like, it's all sorts of fan mail. This is obviously from some kind of a nut. Police. Police? Why? Darling, six gunshots. Remember? Good evening, officer. Good evening, sir. Are you Mr. Amos Klein? Oh, you had uh, better come along in. B.C. Jarvis, sir. Hanscom Police. Oh, well, uh, what seems to be the trouble? 
Well, sir, the uh, inspector would like to have a word with you down at the station. Oh, really? Uh, what about? I'm sorry to bother you, Mr. Klein, but uh, Mr. Cranmore lives down the road, claims to have heard some shots. Shots? Shots? Shots. Uh, yes, sir. Apparently coming from your cottage. Well, it's uh, all a misunderstanding. Really, sir? Well, may I offer you a drink? Uh, not on duty, thank you, sir. Uh, cigarette? Well, well, thank you very much, sir. Very kind of you, sir. Not at all. You see, officer, I, uh, I don't just make my stories up. I have to live them every step of the way. Why? Well, to get inside my characters, don't I, darling? Oh, yes. I know them as well, uh, as well as I know myself. By the way, uh, how's my old friend Charlie Huggins? Huggins? P.C. Huggins, you do know him, don't you? Oh, Huggins, he's fine. He's not on duty this evening. Now, sir, about those shots. Oh, yes, yes, I was coming to that. Uh, you see, my secretary and I were working on a scene. Hmm. Yeah, where a man gets shot. <laughs> What was the idea of that? Well, the turquoise ring. And there is no such person as Charlie Huggins. Shall we? Amos Klein. Your pyjamas fit. I had to guess the size. <coughs> Perfectly, Miss... Uh... Galaxy. Galaxy Rose. Galaxy? From your novel, Volcano 7. Hey, wait. I'm not leaving you, Mr. Klein. I'm here to serve you. with everything you want. Count me. Very. The London papers. But no mail, sorry. But why don't we uh, cut out the floor show and you tell me exactly where I am? In a private house in the country. Whose house? For that information, you'll have to wait 40 seconds. Your secretary's in the room next door, still asleep. What's her name, by the way? Oh, darling. Oh. Joyce, darling. Oh, how nice. Bath or shower? Shower. I see everything's ready for you. Mr. Klein. <laughs> Firstly, let me apologize for the rather severe method of bringing you here. But when it became obvious you weren't going to cash my check, I had to uh, force the issue. <laughs> yes, Mr. Klein, I am Warlock. No doubt you are wondering what this is all about. To say the least. Warlock is not my real name. It is assumed in your honor. Your books have given me great pleasure, Mr. Klein, and I take great delight in welcoming you to the headquarters of S.W.O.R.D. 
Everything is exactly as you described in your books. If, when you're bathed and dressed, you'll join us in the planning room, I'll explain everything to you. In the meantime, if there's anything you want, don't hesitate to ask. Goodbye for now, Mr. Klein. Goodbye. Huh. Do you hear that, Galaxy? Anything I want, I only have to ask. What had you in mind? A gun. Oh, what a shame. Oh, the, uh, the grey, I think. It's so much cooler. No gun. No gun. This is not part of the goodwill we just heard advertised. There are other kinds of goodwill, Mr. Klein. Such as? Such as? You take a shower and I'll scrub your back. Mm. You're far too generous. And I've only just started. Stairs lead to the same place? Of course. I need the exercise. Mr. Amos Klein. My dear Mr. Klein, we meet at last. What a pleasure. Rather one-sided. <laughs> I hope not for long. <laughs> that will be all, thank you. Of course, you know these gentlemen. Do I? Well, after all, you created them. <laughs> but to refresh your memory, the bishop. Nero Jones. Frug. Haven't I seen you somewhere? It's more than possible. I've been somewhere. <laughs> and uh, Simeon Monk. <sighs> nice casting, you'll admit. Wonderful. <laughs> Now, if you'll sit at the head of the table. You are the father, and we are merely your, your brain children. Will somebody tell father? Is this rag weak? <laughs> uh, not quite, not quite. Mr. Klein, all business is based on something. Be it only a successful competitor. Now, I had an unusual idea. Arrived at after reading your books, oh, half a dozen times. It is simply this. Sword works, Mr. Klein. It actually works. And because it works, I made it come to life. Hence the uh, <clears throat> careful typecasting. <laughs> Using some of its methods, we managed to acquire a train load of currency notes. The uh, foundation of this establishment, as you might say. However, the prime ingredient of sword has been missing. The ingredient that makes sword unique. Your own quite remarkable brain. That's why you had me bring it along? Well, I did offer you uh, ample remuneration in the first place, you remember. I remember the second place. Yes, well, we mustn't have any ill feeling, must we? So now to business. Bishop, Frog. <laughs> Nice. I got the idea from Volcano 7. All right, Frog? Explain to uh, your creator what it is. It was the Temple Down Colliery in North Wales. Now it's been taken over by a private company called Hermetico. They've converted it into a safe deposit for hypervaluables. Two of the Middle Eastern countries keep their gold reserves there. One of them keeps its crown jewels there. Three of De Beers' subsidiaries keep their diamond stocks there, never less than two million pounds worth. An immense storehouse of treasure. Hermetico. 
both atom bomb proof and theft proof. Fences, 12 feet high, barbed, and every strand wired to the alarm system. Grills, at intervals throughout the storage area, each with a different locking system and automatic sealing devices. The control room, the electronic nerve center. And in case of alarm, the whole storage area can be flooded. Now, that is just a, a brief resume. We have a dossier containing complete details. Bishop? Uh, it's in my office. I'll get it. Uh, sit down, Bishop. I, uh, I dislike people who forget things. That's right. Now, let that be a warning to you. And Mr. Klein. Please don't make the mistake of not taking me seriously. Wait. I've got it. Is it catching? I remember where I saw you. This is not Amos Klein. What do you mean? I mean, he's a fake. This isn't Amos Klein. An interesting conclusion. How did you arrive at it? I saw him last night in Finlay Hugoson's flat. Oh, yes. Nothing unusual about that. Finlay Hugoson's my publisher. Oh, I often stop by his flat. I keep my petty cash there. <laughs> well, of course. Now, where were we? Oh, this. You've got it intact, just as it was in Volcano 7. Except that was the Bank of England, I think. <laughs> Marvelously written. And I'm sure you'll write just as good a story this time. <clears throat> a story? Telling how S.W.O.R.D. ransacked Hermetico. How, through brilliant thinking, we breached every defense, penetrated to the core of this invulnerable fortress, and, and laid it bare. <laughs> Mr. Warlock, you're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you, please, don't use that word. You, know, you will write it, just like any other story. Breaking down every problem, detail by detail. You will write it, and we, your characters, will live it. And uh, what if I refuse? Oh, you yourself have provided me with far too many gruesome methods of torture to make such a refusal even thinkable. Amos? Well. Like it? Gorgeous. I've had the bath of my life, soap jets, colored water, the lot. We are in a spot, Miss Darling. Yes, I know. You are working for a bunch of nuts, you know that, don't you? She uh, put you in the picture? All the way. Oh, what's he like? Warlock, I mean. Who is he really? Yes. Well, in the, in the books, that was never known, was it? No. Still, we know who you are. They compelled you to work for them. Oh, yes, your, uh, your father owed Warlock a great deal of money. Come, Come in. in. Here's the model, famous buddy. And the dossier. So punch the time clock and you're away. Fascinating. The thing that fascinates me is how we get out of here. Well, don't look at me. In the books, I never helped anybody to escape. Oh, don't be silly. We know. Electrified steel fence, right? And the grounds are patrolled by guards with dogs. Take a look. Come on. And at dusk, there's a photoelectric device that locks the windows and all the outer doors. That sets the alarm. Mm -hmm. You've got it. And I'll give you one for free. Do you remember what was in all the sword bedrooms? Yes. Bugged. And it was a closed-circuit TV camera. Hey, which one of you writes the books? Uh, I do. Where are the mics? There are three of them. You can spot them if you look for them. They can hear every word you say except out here. That's as far as I can stick my neck out. takes me seriously. 
quote. With a sad, sexy twist of her lissom body, Galaxy Rose turned away. Farewell, fellow suckers, she intoned as she left the room. Unquote. You invented sword, now invent a way out of its clutches. I did, for Charles Lake in Hate Lover. What happened? He was electrocuted. <laughs> With your arrangements, I am most impressed. Thank you, General. You understand, of course, that I must consult with my government oh, first. at your convenience, General. Hermetico is anxious to serve you. <laughs> your precautions are ingenious. Our precautions, General, are foolproof. You have your green card? No, of course. Well, then I'll say good morning. Well, thank you for your courtesy, Mr. Castle. If your green pass card bears today's date, please insert it in the slot below. Fantastic. Absolutely impregnable. Except to the mind of Amos Klein. And when? How long is it going to take him? Soon, Frog. Soon. Be patient. After all, Einstein worked on relativity for years. So we can give Mr. Klein a couple of days. Me, Amos Klein's a nut. I didn't ask you. What on earth are they doing? What's it look like? They're dancing. Dancing? Dancing. For two solid hours. Baby, I'm waiting. For what? For you to dream up the big escape scene. When an earthquake fall, Charles Lake escaped from a castle. How? Balloon! Where did he get it? Well, it was rolled up inside his umbrella, and he blended it with gas from his cigarette lighter. Oh, boy. Well, it's just a simple structural problem after all. Oh, dee -da. demand an explanation of what you were dancing why exercise mr. Klein do you remember what sword did to the police sergeant in sunburst five oh, no <laughs> the equipment is fully operational in the cellar it can be filled with acid in one minute oh you wouldn't warlock I'm ashamed of you a shame? Yes, a shame. You're completely out of character. Oh, and by books, you were evil, of course. But you were also intelligent and sensitive. So? So, now you're behaving like a mentally deficient buffalo. Buffalo? A buffalo. Have you any idea what it is like to be a writer? The constant struggle trying to figure out what comes next? Do you think it's as easy as saying, after Monday comes Tuesday. Well, 
Well, I... I've never underestimated your genius. Yet you expect me to work when I'm a prisoner. In a cage, alone? Yes, locked up like an animal. Stifled, hemmed in by these walls. Panting for a breath of fresh air. Yes, just look at the sky. I tell you, it's driving me mad. And yet you expect me to create. Ridiculous. Mr. Klein, you make me feel deeply ashamed. You should be. <laughs> Do forgive me. I'll arrange with Galaxy to take you for a walk in the garden at once. Not you, Miss Darling. We can't have you both out of the house at once. <laughs> Just a simple precaution. Mr. Klein, what happens to me in your next book? You marry Charles Lake. I do. Unfortunately, he's terribly wounded. Where? Well, Galaxy dear, I'm afraid you'll just have to wait and read the book. How does Charles Lake get wounded? Monk? I never did like that one. Oh, and, uh, another thing. Yes? Warlock double-crosses you. He wouldn't. He, uh, he promised you a million for this medical caper, right? Yes. You don't get it. The dirty stinker. Is the, uh, gate electrified? If you know Warlock double-crosses me, how come you don't know about the gates? Mr. Klein's tour of the grounds could provide him with food for thought. We must be on our toes tonight. Double guards. The full drill, Frog. The full drill.
Klein's working late tonight. What are you talking about? He's asleep. There's a light on in his room. It isn't. I don't care what you say. There's a light in his room. I saw it from outside. Take a look. Was on, I tell you. What the devil's going on? Why am I being disturbed? Oh, sorry, Mr. Klein. I. How am I expected to work if I don't get my rest? Hmm? What is the matter? What's the matter? I'll tell you what the matter is, Warlock. They are a bunch of idiots. No consideration at all. Barging, barging in on me in the middle of the night for no reason, waking me up. I tell you, I cannot function without eight hours uninterrupted sleep. Oh! What on earth is all the noise about? Ask Warlock. Explain this. Uh, it was my fault, Mr. Warlock. I... Out! My profound apologies, Mr. Klein. I... I assure you, this won't happen again. Good night. He is not to be disturbed again. The usual precautions are quite sufficient. Do you hear? Tomcat. You know, at this point, I usually ride in a helicopter.
through those gates. Yes, we'll have to burst through them with a car. Ignition key on you, do you? Wait a minute. In Earthquake 4, Warlock lost the keys to this. He was trying to get away from Charles Lake. He nearly didn't. So he had a second ignition switch installed. Where was it? Got it! Now try the starter. <laughs> Shut up the tires! Most ingenious. I can't believe it. Don't be concerned, dear boy. The ignition in their car will cut out automatically in six more miles. We will pick them up at Northfield Corners in seven minutes. So are you. Thank you. I say, I, I wonder what would have happened if they'd found out that I was Amos Klein. <laughs> I wonder what would have happened if they'd found out I was really Simon Templar. <laughs> I thought no one ever escaped from Saul. Who said they've escaped? <laughs> They're ahead of us, approaching Northfield Corners. <laughs> There's no need to drive so recklessly, Monk. They can't possibly get away from us. Five, four, three, two, one, now! Your idea? Yes, I'm afraid so. It was in my last book. It's a, it's an automatic cutout device on the car's electrical system. They're locked. Playboy's dream car. Look, it's no good, Simon. The car's hermetically sealed. The device is foolproof. The device may be, not be. I'd give a fortune to see the expression on Mr. Klein's face right now. Yes, if we go on a diet. Be careful, you'll blow us all up. Be a quick way of getting out. Come on. Right. 
around the next bend. Poor Mr. Klein. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant? And you said they couldn't possibly get away. I underestimated Amos Klein every step of the way. What a magnificent brain he has! So he's got a brain. What do we do now? Warlock to sword. Warlock to sword. Operation Fox Hunt. Operation Fox Hunt. <laughs> what are they doing? What do sword usually do under these circumstances? Oh, any number of things. Flamethrowers, tanks, death ray machines, infrared probes. Yes, and what do we do? I don't know. I do. I'm sorry. Can't we rest? Look, my feet are killing me. You should be glad Saul's not killing you. Come on. <laughs> Dogs? Oh, now we've had everything. Everything except little Eva crossing the ice. The night is still young. <laughs> It's just dawned on me why you're not married. I'm sorry, Simon. Oh, it's fine. The mud's delicious. I didn't mean to push you in. Well, at least the dogs have lost our scent. The dogs may have lost it, but poor oh, will we? Get on! Well, Nero and I will go this way, and you two that way. Come on. Oh, I can't. Another step. Hey, look. Give me your hand. Shotgun? We're friends! Come on, we need help. Please open the door. <sighs> There's no reason to be afraid. No, we We're just, hurt, we just want to use your telephone. You can't. Why oh, not? come on, don't be so silly. We'll pay for the call. We're not on the phone. Don't move. Now, what's all this about? 
Have you ever heard of Amos Klein? No, who's he? I'm he. Uh, well, that is to say, I'm an author and Amos Klein is my non diplom and well, what I mean is everyone thinks I'm a man. I see. Well, tell them titles of some of your books. Oh, yes, um, um Sunburst 5. No. Volcano 7. No. Anyway, Amos here invented an organization called S.W.O.R.D. Yes, it stands for Secret Word Organization for Retribution and Destruction. And there's this man. A uh, nutcase, actually. Oh, well, he thought he could make it work. So he recreated it down to the last detail. <laughs> They've been holding us prisoners. Locked up. Locked up. But we managed to escape. Escape? Oh. Details <laughs> don't matter. The point is, these people are after us. Uh. Ma, why don't you make a cup of tea and we'll sit down and talk this over calm like? Well, that's awfully kind of you, but really, we haven't got the time. Really, we, we must get to the police. What for? Well, you see, if they catch us, well, Warlock will kill us. Oh, I don't understand. <laughs> I'll give you 50 pounds for the use of your car. 50 pounds? Wet, but negotiable. Just to drive to the nearest village to get to a police station. Get the car. Here, I I'll get it. You just give me the keys. Uh, uh, no, you won't start uh, for nobody but me. You uh, won't need that, I promise you. I expect not. <laughs> Hasn't been fired for 20 years anyway. <laughs> Well, <clears throat> how long have you been um, out? Ooh, about an hour. I see. They were chasing us with dogs. Terrible. Well, we'll uh, leave your car outside the police station. All right. So, uh, well, don't worry. Sorry we came in, frightened you. <laughs> Sorry about the mess on the oh, floor. Oh, I understand. Oh, good luck. Thanks. Thank And now the girl. Oh. I'm terribly sorry if my patients are frightened. It's a lie! We're not his patients. He's the head of sword. Hold her! Uh, but be very gentle. Advanced delusions of persecution and paranoid maladjustment. My. They're both suffering from acute schizophrenia. Oh, it's very sad. <laughs> Mr. Klein and Miss Darling. Mr. Klein, you have annoyed me intensely. You seem to forget that we are your characters, that you, you created us, that you must cooperate with us. Now, let me show you what will happen if you don't. Bring them down to the cellar. The sword laboratory! Reproduced exactly as described in Volcano 7. All the marvellous devices of your fertile brain, Mr. Klein, and they all work perfectly. Congratulations. Wait a minute. What's that? This is the single deviation from the book. It originated in Russia. The multi-laser destructor. Scores of lasers working in consecutive concentration. Now, I should hate to have to use it on you, Mr. Klein, but I will. Unless you work out within 48 hours how we can rob Hermitico. I can't do it. You can and you will. I can't. Not without seeing what we are up against. You have the model. And the dossier. And the aid of my scientific knowledge. We've thought of everything. Not everything. I insist on seeing Hermetico for myself. I see. Well, gentlemen. Was in the book. They made two visits. And you can't diverge from the book. Yeah, stick to the book. Very well. We'll visit Hermetico this afternoon. Galaxy, you will make all the arrangements. Sure thing, Mr. Warlock. 
Oh, one moment, if you please. Uh, Mr. Klein, may I have your jacket? Monk, the accelerator, please, Frog. Highest frequency and maximum concentration. Galaxy, if you please. Now, if by so much as a raised eyebrow, Mr. Klein, you attempt to betray me to Hermetico, Miss Darling will be placed in the tender care of this exquisite machine. What's in the briefcase? Nothing. And I'm supposed to be some sort of diplomat? Warlock will tell you. Galaxy, you're not mad at me, are you? No. Just worried. Brother may be watching. This is one part of the room the TV camera can't reach. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, you won't try to escape or do anything silly. Well, you wouldn't really pop Miss Darling on the toaster, would you? Amos, baby, for all that money, I put anybody on the toaster, even you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm always ready to help an amateur. I'd like to say goodbye to Amos. Go ahead. Uh, goodbye, Amos. Goodbye, Miss Darling. What's in it? Everything. Warlock is waiting. The red card is your entrance pass. The green one, your exit pass. You are Herr Friedrich Gotthard, my chief security officer. And Mr. Klein. Yes? Just one move, one false move, and Miss Darling dies. Gentlemen, this is the main loading area. Now, valuables are delivered here and packed into our own special containers. Lister, I'm taking these two gentlemen downside. Yes, sir. Judy Keyman. The uh, badges are specially coated. Enter without one and hidden sensor mechanisms sound an immediate alarm. Ah, consisting of what? Oh, bells, klaxons, dreadful noise. Every grill in the place then automatically clamps shut sealing off each area independently. No one can enter, not even us. Gentlemen. Mr. Carson, there was a raid. Some men break in from above. Yes, with guns. They uh, forced the man with the keys to admit them to this lip. Well, they wouldn't get five yards. You see, there are concealed alarm buttons everywhere. The three within reach of my hand at this moment. Very admirable. Uh, this will give you uh, some idea of how deep we're going. Hmm. You see, this lift is the only entrance to the mine. All the old shafts were filled in. Keys must be inserted simultaneously. No one man on his own can ever gain entry. Some uh, prospective clients. Now, the infrared and sensor alarms are coordinated in here. A gas can be pumped into the ventilating system at the flick of a switch, knocking out an intruder in a uh, oh, matter of seconds. Most impressive. And discouraging. 
I mean, if one were rash enough to contemplate robbery. Uh, quite so. Go on. The door code number is changed daily. And now, our main storage area. Some potential customers, Morgan. Very good, sir. Well, gentlemen, there it is. I think your valuables will be safe here, don't you? Indubitably. I am most satisfied. Mr. Carson, one question. Of course. How do you know that uh, General and myself are not imposters? Well, I suppose it is just possible for people to gain access here under false pretenses, but uh, once they've seen our security arrangements, well... They would be discouraged, eh? Uh, quite. Shall we go, then? After you, General. Well, thank you very much for coming, gentlemen. You have your green cards? Yes, of course. <laughs> if your green pass card bears today's date, please insert it in the slot below. I take it, General, that head office will hear from you in due course. I uh, think you can uh, guarantee that. Whoa! Don't go! Don't go! <laughs> I'm taking clients out. Turn the thing off, you fool! What happened? We, uh, we have a radar scanner. Anything moving above the height of the fence automatically sets it off. Except, uh, birds, of course. It's programmed to ignore them. It's really to guard against anyone using a helicopter. But, uh, there's the explosion. Well, we, we don't tell anyone, but this outer perimeter is crisscrossed with thousands of invisible infrared beams. Now, a break in any one of those causes the mine directly below it to explode. Remarkable. Gentlemen, I, I'm so sorry about, about the dust. <laughs> oh, the fall. Excuse me. Well, thank you. Thank you so much for coming. I'll say good day to you, gentlemen. Oh, good day, Mr. Carson. Good day, thank you. Uh, good day, sir. Uh, General, if perhaps you'd let me have the name of your hatter. And how many other devices are there you don't know about? Well, I admit the infrared beams across the neutral strip did come as somewhat of a surprise. A surprise? Warlock, it's impossible. Oh, not to you, Amos. The answer is no. Amos, I'm in with you. I am I... through. I resign. Gentlemen, Mr. Klein wishes to resign. What do we do? Your resignation is not accepted, Mr. Klein. Now then, you have 48 hours in which to solve the problem. Or else, we shall invoke Chapter 12 of Volcano 7. We have got to. That's all there is to it. Now, come on. Let's kick it around the way we do at home. Well, you know I'm no good at it, Amos. Oh, I don't know you. Come up with some quite good ideas sometimes. Now, let's begin with the basics. The radar system. Put that down. How do we get at it? At last, we've gotten working. Fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. <laughs> oh. Well, everything else works like a dream. We keep coming back to the first big problem. Yes, yeah, the invisible infrared beams. Crisscross the whole strip. And if you break through them, you set up a mine. There was only some way we could see them. Oh, look, I've had it for tonight. I feel a wreck. I'm a heel for driving as hard. No, no, I don't mind. I enjoy working with you. Put them on. What? You know something, Miss Darling? You're gorgeous. Well, without specs, I'm blind. Mm. With or without them, you're yeah, quite something. Well, there you are. Now you're invisible. Glasses. Mm -hmm. That's it. Special glasses. Polaroid lens with a thin coating. Make your exalt light. Sensitive to infrared light. Mm -hmm. You could see the beams and 
Step right over them. Infrared rays between the two terminals, completely invisible to the naked eye. Now, look at it through the glass. It works? <laughs> of course, Miss Darling. <laughs> then you load the stuff on the vans and you drive away. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. Yes, but there's one thing. The way we get across that neutral strip, it's suicide, and you know it. Now, those mines are all over the ground. Gentlemen, you play for big stakes. You take big risks. Exactly. Now, when do we mount the operation? Well, that's purchase of equipment. Workshops will have a lot of construction to do. Well, suppose we say the 23rd, huh? Yeah. Mm. I'm the 23rd, it is. What about Miss Darling and myself? Oh, you'll be released, of course. When? When her medico is empty. Who goes through the neutral strip first? Oh, it's quite simple, Miss Darling. You draw lots. you've blown us all to smithereens. It's impossible! Not if you concentrate. And pick up your big feet. You're trying to kill us! That's what you're doing! Frog! Ooh. Monk, quickly! It's all right. I can handle it. Ooh. Well, tonight's the night. I'm scared. You know what Saw did to the prisoners in Volcano 7? Ah. Well, I've rewritten it. In your version, all the Sword members got back. In mine, they don't. You are sure those mines will go off if someone steps on them? Positive. Let's uh, give some more thought to the ventilating system. Well, we could short circuit the fan. Would you? No, it would uh, flash red in master control. find anything better to do. I've cleaned all the guns!
Mr. Warlock. Look. So you are really Simon Templer. That's right. You deliberately misled me. Oh, it wasn't difficult. Rather a good picture, don't you think? Uh, yes, excellent. I am not amused. Shame he has no sense of humor. Take her to the cellar. Don't push. You have three minutes to get dressed. Meaning I am going with you? Not only are you going with us, Mr. Templer, you are going to cross the neutral strip first. So you'd better be right about those mines. Or else you'll be blown right into the next world. Then, Mr. Templer, if all goes according to plan, we shall be leaving Hermetico at two o'clock. However, if Monk is not notified of our safe departure, she fries. So it's true. Yes. And all those prophecies you made, like I'd marry Charles Lake. Galaxy, I have no idea who you'll marry. I have. And we'll be very happy. Once she's out of the way. Oh, by the way, I nearly forgot. I believe this is yours. I explained to the garbage man you were a mental patient. He was so sympathetic. I let him keep your money. Thank you. Just think, Mr. Templer. In two hours, either I'll be a multimillionaire or you'll be dead.
Thanks, Tom. Okay. Right, then it's time for your break. And don't take too long. Okay. Back, Dave. What's he up to? Having 40 winks, I'll bet. 
Hey, Dave. Wakey, wakey. Gentlemen, and you're dead. Front the cards. And get the van in. If your green pass card bears today's date, please insert it in the slot below. so nervous about. If anything goes wrong, I'm the one who's going to be the pot roast. Where's Bishop? Number 10 strong room. Oh. Good.
Mm. Looks like you've had it, sweetie. Am I allowed a last request? Such as? Cigarette? Thanks. Oh, my holder. It's in my bag. I'm so used to it. The light is in there. magnetic belt can be short-circuited. Huh? How? Woman's eternal weapon. Across the link connection. <laughs> That's brilliant. What about them? He's not dead. No, neither she. Well, how did you do it? Well, it was rather ingenious, I must admit. Come on now, tell me, how did you do it? No, no, no. You'll have to wait for that till you read my next book. You'll never live to write it. You created sword, but I built it! And it worked! There was no limit to what we might have done! And you were foolish enough to destroy it. Destroy it all! Including yourselves! So that's how you did it. Yes. Clever, isn't it? Darling, Miss Klein, it is brilliant. With or without glasses. Who cares? Isn't the room for me in this story? <laughs> <laughs> 